a chemistry laboratory is full of beakers and bottles holding chemicals. Fooling around can have disastrous consequences. You could scar yourself or others for life, even cause blindness. So the most important rule of all in the lab is no fooling around. Don't run, push, or wrestle, or even move fast. Even if you're not fooling around, accidents can happen. Wait a second. Personal belongings in the middle of aisles can trip someone. Even a job as simple as reading a burette can lead to an accident. For greatest accuracy, your eyes should be on the same level as the number you're reading. If you can't read a burette accurately, lower it down to eye level. If you can't do that, stand on a step stool. There are behavioral rules to protect you against less obvious hazards, too. Applying makeup may seem harmless enough but chemicals and vapors and spills in the lab can contaminate it. Then when you apply it to your face, you put on the chemical too. So keep makeup outside the lab. Eating and drinking in the lab can cause similar problems. Chemicals can contaminate your food or splash into a drink. Guys, I think it's time to go to class. Get rid of them before you come into the chemistry lab. Don't fool around in lab. Keep aisles clear of personal belongings. Stand on a step stool when you have to reach. Keep makeup in your purse. Keep food and drinks outside. <laughs> In spite of safety precautions, people sometimes get careless and accidents happen. That's why a well-equipped chemistry lab has emergency equipment to take care of them. If you've cut yourself, wash the wound to remove any chemical traces. Make sure there are no pieces of glass in the cut. Dry your skin carefully so a bandage will stick. Let your teacher put the bandage on the cut. Notify your teacher whenever you have an accident and make sure to get immediate medical attention after any injury in the lab. Chemical spills and splashes are also common lab accidents. Ah, are you okay? My eyes. Let's go wash them out. If a chemical hits your eyes, wash them immediately in an eye wash fountain. Hold your eyes open and roll them around so the water can wash them thoroughly. You shouldn't be wearing contacts, but if you are, get them out as soon as you've given your eyes a good initial rinsing. Continue washing for at least 15 minutes. Then see a doctor immediately to check your eyes for damage. Non-corrosive chemical splashes on bare skin should be rinsed off in the lab sink with plenty of water. Spills of corrosive materials require a lot more water. Don't wait till you feel pain from the chemical. Head for the safety shower immediately. Rinse your body thoroughly as fast as possible. Take off all your clothes. Don't let modesty make your injury worse. Your teacher will clear the other students out of the room. Stay under the shower for at least 15 minutes. Fires are always a potential hazard in chemistry lab, especially when organic liquids are involved. Small fires in containers can often be put out by covering them. Turn off the burner so the fire won't reignite. <coughs> 
Larger fires require a fire extinguisher. It should be operated by a teacher, not by a student. If the fire is too large to control, clear out of the building. Call the fire department when you're safely outside and tell them what chemicals are involved. Clothing fires can be put out in a couple of ways, as the mannequin will demonstrate. The best way is in the safety shower. If the shower is not close by, the rule is stop, drop, and roll. The victim's weight on the fire puts some of it out, and a fire blanket gets the rest. Flames should be kept away from the victim's face. Anyone who's been burned must get medical attention immediately. Clean and dry the skin around a cut before a bandage is applied. Rinse chemicals from your eyes in the eye wash fountain. Rinse chemicals from your hands and arms with water in the sink. Remove your clothes on the way to the safety shower to rinse large spills from your body. Extinguish small fires in containers by covering them. Let your teacher use an extinguisher to put out larger fires. Put out clothing fires in the safety shower. If there's no other way to put out a clothing fire, use a fire blanket carefully to keep flames away from the face and neck. The accidents in this program may look serious, and many of them are. But don't let the potential for danger scare you away from chemistry lab. A safe, well-run chemistry lab is an interesting and rewarding learning experience. If you pay attention, use common sense, and follow the safety rules you've seen here, the chemistry laboratory can be safer than your own home.